So back to what I was saying. <laughs> We better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up alright? 
Things gonna work out for him?看这张牌，告诉我，你看到了什么？财富可能来自任何方向，但是当这样的风吹来，死亡和厄运肯定会随之而来。Death. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? 你能比你的朋友打得更好吗，勇士 ？Fight, sure. Let me know the quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Hey, Chuck. We better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back.
out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here.
Damn, another stiff? Who's the lucky winner? Oh, damn it, Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker.
Oh God, no. Charlie! Siyempo, follow na Hello, and welcome to my repository. I 
am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass, and we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. We can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Let's get this all loaded up. Whoa, Whoa careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. Must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Trying to make a decision about. 
about finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Hey! <sighs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey. What's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Wanna crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would've gone with minutes. Yeah. yeah, cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, lo I love beer. <laughs> right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. Uh, it's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? So worry. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You, uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Little boy. See those hot pants. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. That kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh. Technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, yeah, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Guys, no one knows, no one cares. No harm, no foul. The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. 
And don't touch anything. I just can't. Wait to be the first one down there? Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro? Gap in the tail. Take a look. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules, and laws, and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple of wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Hey. Hey, back. doesn't look kosher. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Took more than that just to script the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Thanks a lot. Zing. Okay, so this is the rebreather. 
way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. Stay to the art. Okay, O2 check done. Oh, whoa, whoa, eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clownfishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate? Yeah. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. All right, kids. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. Plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You? Are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Freshening your cabin. Boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure. Why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So, you took out a loan? Yeah, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye.
How's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? <laughs> nice one. How long you been cooking that one up? All afternoon. Good use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. Duke of Milan, 20 miles north of the coast, over. Reading you, how can we help? Over. Inquiring about guidelines regarding an unidentified sunken wreck in this vicinity, over. Any tampering with a wreck, identified or not, will result in prison or fine or both, over. Roger that, thank you, over. Duke of Milan, Duke of Milan, are you reporting a finding? What is the nature of this call? Over. Check the coordinates for Duke of Milan. Possible 1054. Unexpected guests. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm a people person. Uh, what do you think they want? And maybe they're fishermen. I mean, maybe that's their buoy. I don't know. Just be on guard. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. 
so we're not under arrest. Hey, get out of here! What do you think you're doing? You see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this man, it's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. Alright, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time without exploring. Go, go, go. Okay, Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? <laughs> Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go for it. Stupid down here? That's it. One chance. You get that? Chill out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. They were on their way to help out a ship. Bullet holes. 
I'll down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Sharp. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. I, uh... What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I... I... Wanted to bring something up with you, but it's it's not the best time. Oh, you had something to raise with me, did you? <sighs> it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Jeez, Alex. You're more of a wreck than that plane that just literally fell apart on top of us. Give me a break, okay? Come on. We've really got to get up top. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? No, we better not have class again. Wait, <laughs> Julia. We got to decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We got to get up there. Wait! We have to decompress. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my brother's up there. Julia! This is crazy! You just gotta wait a few seconds. Ugh. <sighs> oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. 
sure. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found a plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish, both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow you might say, or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like tra traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barticles and Thank sharks. you, sharks. sharks. What it was a great reef. Uh, a hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, I've been studying yeah, it for I'll, years. I'll look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Julia. Are you happy? Well, yeah, of course. Why would you ask me that? I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future. You know? What's next? I'll be honest. Lately, I've been wondering about the same thing. Where do we go from here? Let's talk about it, but when we get home. I can't deal with this right now. Where's my brother? I'll find him. You just hang out here. Hey, you see my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Hello, the lot of the non odd. Which one is the uh, magic uh, lag? You see, you can't go back. Where the magic hands? The game is not going to be screen. I'm not going to be able to use it. On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them out. Now that 
everybody's here. Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. You alright? You seem kind of preoccupied. Nah, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. So... Does the accident mean you can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my lips are soon. So, we're going again tomorrow? Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Hey. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Got it. Let's go up. Wait. Can we talk about what just happened? Later, Alex, okay? Right here. No resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Ken? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's, it's like, like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect the resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, sure, but, you know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll Isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Let's move. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and insists her parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts. Clichés and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. You know, 
sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so... Who did it? The woman says, It was my husband. And she turns to the closet. Says, He's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and, sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then his eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Super twin, nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. I think he told it better last time. But good effort. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the egg. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> Ten for me, buddy. And I'm out.
good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this can get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of... Maybe the fisherman had this off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great. Just great. And the good news? Ah, uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? Don't worry. They were going to kill us. We would have done it already. I'm not just worried about being killed. Guys, we got to get untied. Like now. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady.
Eight seconds. The storm's eight miles away. You came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on the boat. Get some help. Give me a break with that gangster shit. I don't 
don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. I'm just gonna say, Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian goal. They're in cahoots. Thank you, Tay. <laughs> well, you seem to have already suffered a casualty. That was a bold move. Not smart. 
A bit bold. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's the thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Sign up for a trip to Creek Town. Oh, shit! 
Da, hop zu Bitte. Relive tayo. Mga kayo pa ang lagi. Relive. Okay, wait. Relive lang tayo. Relive tayo. Tingnan natin kung hindi na nasada ang lagi. Hindi na lagi yung stream. Osan, you're in both you see. Okay, all of you. Don't be the last to do it. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us a light. What the hell is this fucking place? Well, whatever this ship is, we gotta start figuring out how to get the fuck off of it. So, what's the standard nautical protocol for being kidnapped and imprisoned on an abandoned hell ship? We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Let's get back to our boat, get the hell away from here, and never step foot off dry land again. How's that for a plan? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap. Makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that, um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm, well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. Lagi pa rin. Okay, pa. Less na. Hey! I found this note. It was back in the bunk room. So it says that this guy... Patterson? Kept playing sick, getting out of guard duty when he was supposed to be in the... Old. Hmm. I guess he did it like a bunch of times. 
Anyways, it, it doesn't seem like anyone liked it too much down there. So what I'm gathering is the crew... Man, they were pretty creeped out by whatever the hell they were carrying on this ship. I don't like a single thing about this place. Not at all. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Back on the Duke, I overheard them talking about the Manchurian gold. <laughs> I really don't think they had any of this planned until the gold caught their attention. We need to watch them closely. This could go from bad to worse if they don't find what they're looking for. So, what do we do? This is a fucking old ship, but maybe it still has a radio that works. Any idea where we'd find it? Uh, the bridge. Above deck. Alright. The second we get an open, we gotta take it. And hope the radio still works. Okay, well we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. Just be careful. why they all left it behind. This is very strange. Et je me 
What do you think? I can't get it open. Over here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. I just don't know what shape the ship is in. This old deck could be blocked. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. So much to create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait! Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Careful, lad. Thank you. stairs around here.
vanished. It's like they were just snapped up right in the middle of whatever they were doing. Hiding in the hold for a big surprise party. Thank you. 
We need to be careful. This could be our only chance. Okay. Keep an eye out. Holy crap! Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas Ta gueule Je veux savoir où sont les autres. circles? Today's beef casserole. Hmm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. I guess you never know. We might have to use it.
Did you... I mean... Did you hear anything? I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. Julia, just... try to get a grip? Don't fucking laugh at me! All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? Ah, uh, Alex. Paradigm of comfort and assurance. Hello. Look at this. It's insane. Is it even human? I mean, was it ever human? What's the deal with this place? Okay, leave. Now! Leave, leave, leave! Okay, that's enough with the bone buddies. Hey, we got a name on this guy. Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Will you please hurry? Please? Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? And share po at papalo ng thing. Thank you. Oh, why so spick and span? Fuck! Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that.
Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, and then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope, nope. Medyo lagi yung stream Hindi ko alam itong bakit stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. Huh. Where did all your friends go? I don't know what the fuck this is all about. But we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now! Olsen? Merde. Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Oh, ça. <coughs> <coughs> 
Ay, kay Mateo Alright, alright, let's go. Buck up, buck up, you motherfucker. Dislike and share our Come on! Please follow the page Mac X Gaming. Alright, 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 buck up.
Thank you, Mateo. Gonna have a, a heart attack. Hello? Who's there? This can't be good.
They're close.
Its name is this. Summoning the summoning the mm -hmm. come on, let's keep your head on straight.
breath. Hey, Brad. What are you... Hey, what's wrong? Ah. Oh. Ah. 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 What the fuck? Ah. Hey! Thank <laughs> you. 
good for it. Ay! Ay! Bagel ko mid do. We'll be all right here. Scary. Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. What the hell is wrong with you back there? Brad, you lost your shit, like big time, you Well... That's it for the stream. Get a sleep. Nantok na ako. Mas na lang ulit. At sana maayos ko na yun. Para hindi na may bilagi yung stream. So ayun. Salamat sa lahat na nag-like, nanood, at nag-follow. Pwasa lang ulit. See ya! Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.